Alright, hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to um, find the center of gravity of your airplane. Um, I am using eCalc. It's a center of gravity calculator program. Um, I don't think you can download it. Um, I don't think I, don't, I haven't found out if you can or not yet. But yeah, so let's begin. So mine is actually a new model I'm making from a picture, and it is almost complete. It's called the Flyjet. And I will be trying to have the uh, um, the plans out once I get them done. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So the first one, you wanna, the first uh, box right here is the root chord R. And it shows you right here in this diagram that it is basically the length of your, uh, actually the width of your wing. So, and on mine, it is 12 inches. Alright. This next one, tip cord, is also 12. Alright. And mine goes down to 8.6875. Point six eight six eight seven five. All right. Uh, this next one is three point nine three three point at the comma. Sorry, no, point nine three seven five. All right. Tap over to this one and. It is 4.875. Alright. Now the sweep is the distance between the top of your wing to each one of... Um, here's a second. Move this over so you can get it out of the way so you can see it. See that right there. S1 is the distance between each of these W ones right here. So you want to make sure that the W ones, when you make them, leave a little mark there. So when you do the sweep, or when you do the tip cord, it's all this. It's all at the same exact point. All right. So my first sweep is zero because it is straight. Then it is 2.375, 2.375, alright, next one, mine is 3.3125, five, alright, next one is 2.375 Panel span is the distance between each of your T1 to T2 then from T2 to T3 then from T3 to T4 Alright Make sure they're the same exact spot as your sweeps and um, and your T1s Alright, or it'll or you uh, won't get your ac won't get an accurate measurement. All right. So my first panel span is 1.875. 1. 1.875. 1. All right. Next one is 2.5 inches. So 2.5 inches. All right. Next one is just a quite a bit bigger. <laughs> Ten point five six two five. All right. This last one is actually much smaller. Three eighths of an inch. So zero point three seven five. All right. And since my plane is actually a delta wing, I'm gonna go down to. Um, the tail effectiveness right here 
I click on Delta, which is 0% tail effective. Click on that. And now none of this is highlighted. Because it is used for um, a normal airplane. Alright. If you scroll down, that sh this shows you the shape of your plane. Alright. And if you go up here to calculate, right up here, and click on that, let's give it a second, now it tells you exactly right here, right where your uh, center of gravity is, alright? If you look down to here, um, it shows you right there, here's your neutral point. And yeah. yeah, but that tells you everything. And the I've actually figured out if you draw out the shape of your wing, probably like most uh, most people are probably right-handed. A lot of people are. Um, I, I would draw out the right side of the wing since it's probably easier, so you don't get anything mixed up. <laughs> um, I actually draw out the shape then take every single measurement starting with your uh, panel span right here I actually that's tip cord panel span right here this bottom section and write out all your panel spans and all your uh, T1s you know tip cord sorry <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry I got confused there. Yeah, write out all your tip cords, all your T1s, your inner measurements. Then, I would go... Oh, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Go to your... Uh, uh, yes, your panel spans. Measure those out to whichever point that, it, that your wing bends at. And leave like a little dash there with like a pencil or something. And then do it all at every single one of your points. You don't have to do it at the elevon or aileron uh, positions, but it's just, it just gives it more uh, more of a surface to work with. Then I would go with your uh, uh, T1s. Uh, your T1's the inner measurements to figure out the positions right here and make sure you write the measurement on the side it doesn't matter left or right I, I normally do it on the left so just make it easier and then do your uh, sweep from the top to there make sure it's all in line or you'll get the wrong measurement alright make sure you select your uh, correct uh, tail if it's a small stabilizer or a standard, a top tail, V tail, delta, flying wing, and canard. I think a delta and flying wing are pretty much the same, so I don't really know which one to do. I'm just going to stick with delta. Alright. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and, um, and don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.